Not so pale. You're on it. Today's snow is crippling much of the Washington lowlands. One of three inches of snow fell in Seattle and other areas. Well, Christine, they are. The whole neighborhood knows the boy. They say he's friends with their children, goes to school with them, and was in the backyard of this house playing with a scooter and a bicycle uh, when that pole came crushing down, crashing on him in front of horrified witnesses. That is uh, not true. We did call the sheriff's office. It's a, a sausage competition that I judge. Oh, in like sausage eating? Yeah. Oh, nice. yeah. <laughs> king, king of the kubasa and uh, local sausage makers, they all make their best and they enter it. I bet it's delicious. It is. It's February 9th, 7 p.m. at uh, Prairie Land Park. Tickets are only $25. It's for charity and uh, you can get uh, tickets online at Pick a Dick. Pick? Oh, <laughs> Well, you're thinking about sausage, so. <laughs> Pick a dick. Oh, my goodness. That was ridiculous, wasn't we it? We were not drinking wine today. No, we weren't. We weren't. <laughs> now, that was a really good event. <laughs> it is. King of the Cabasa. So go to Pick a Dick. Pickadick.com. Well, the police wouldn't let me go to through 100, 122nd, so I had to go around 119th and go... Um, and I was, they let me look at the, the lawyer's building. I know the vacuum cleaner man. He's seen my tits. Um, I know that's not going on TV, but it's true. It's true. I'm not here to lie to you. Um, I was trying to get a hold of him because I couldn't identify the business. That window got blown out. And I was trying to help the police figure out who to contact to secure that poor business. Yes, 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 he must have been gravely hurt. He must have been badly hurt, injured. How, how fast do you think someone must have been going? I haven't been allowed to drive for three years, so I am not a good judge of that. Anything else you want to, to add about what you saw? You want to see my tits? <laughs> Louis? And vouchers can then be picked up from Tuesday through Thursday. Now students with more than 90 credit hours have the best chance of getting tickets, but everyone is welcome to sign up. Live from the newsroom, Cara Minnelli, WUFT News. I will not be making any comments. Oh my God, that hurt. Elaine Campbell, who became a symbol for organ donation, is celebrating her 21st birthday in hospital. I'm Nicole DiDonato, live in East Town, and those details coming up. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> That's a way to start a Thursday, Nicole. It's time now for a full look at your forecast with Astrid. Maybe we can canoodle before you get into it about, um... We're not going to be canoodling. What? Oh, I thought canoodle meant chat. <laughs> Astrid, you're lucky there's a producer in my ear. I would have, I would have carried that on and on. You know what? You just made the blooper reel. Good oh, job, Andrew. Classic. Well, take it away. Get me off camera. If you drive into the city, you see that uh, there are lines at the gas stations, the grocery stores. Oh. If you drive into the city, you see that uh, there are lines at the gas stations. It is really hard to stand up right now. There is no sand. It's hitting up against the seawall. And also we're worried about that. There's a shirtless man <laughs> jogging wearing a horse mask. <laughs> I'm not quite sure. Obviously wanting to give a little bit of attention. <laughs> we are obliging him. We are obliging him. Yes, but I exactly. also have to tell you, it's cold out here. I'm wearing all of this stuff. And I'm so through and I'm cold. This guy, shirtless, I, I don't even know. They want everybody who doesn't have a reason to be outside uh, in inside their homes. You heard from the mayor who said a number of people haven't left. That worries them. But at this point, if you haven't left, don't go out. You probably can't get out of Atlantic City anyway because the roads have become overwhelmed. This is only the beginning, and so all of the warnings do need to be taken seriously. Of course, power outages could be a problem. That's never a good idea, folks. Following the 2010 census, Myrtle Beach's MPO is moving. You should try that. Okay. I would love yeah, go to. Go ahead. Right. I want to see this. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> no just, nobody's serious. Graphics tips. Also, some good signs. Uh, 
Australia's not uh, having technical difficulties, so I'm watching Spain. Tony Abbott still needs to be erected, elect, er, elected first. Um. Well, I woke up to go get me a cold pop, and then I thought somebody was barbecuing. I said, oh, Lord Jesus, it's a fire. <laughs> then I ran out. I didn't grab no shoes or nothing, Jesus. I ran for my life. And then the smoke got me. I got bronchitis. Ain't nobody got time for that. Come on, Ben, get your shit together. That's all you got? Get your stuff together, that's what I meant to say. I guess the game just ended. It ended in a tie. This is what my producer is telling me right now. Oh, there you go. There's the score. 89 uh, went down to the wire. 21 seconds left. Ended in a tie. A little bit of what you see here. That's Wyclef Jean uh, giving an interview. He is one of the many surrogates, uh, you could say. Is, sorry? Wale, excuse me, Wale, got my artist mixed up. Either way, we've seen a lot of artists, you've seen a lot of uh, surrogates out on the campaign trail uh, coming out for the president. And now you've seen sort of the surrogates come on out and we can expect this. Uh, we saw a bunch of musicians out on the campaign trail, Bruce Springsteen uh, for the president yesterday, Jay-Z for the president yesterday. And we've seen celebrities, uh, Will I Am, good grief, man, I am tired. It's Will I Am, I'm sorry, I'm mixing up my artists here. Uh, uh, but either way, you kind of get the idea. You got a plane crash, 29th and King Drive. Let's go to Skycam. It, it, yeah, you okay. see it, the lower on the lower left hand side of your screen. If uh, Skycam uh, can tilt down, there's a wing. Is that on top of a car there, Larry? Can you see? Yeah, there it is. And wow. See it? Oh, it looks like a giant hole in the middle of the street. Oh my. Yeah, we are not. We haven't seen any ambulance here. We see a fire truck. Is it? I, again, we're. Yeah, you can see. So it looks like some some cars may have hit each other. But uh, oh, man, can you imagine? You're driving down King Drive, wow. and a plane comes down in the middle of the road. Yeah, that's a big chunk of concrete where yeah. the where the plane just went down. Yeah, it looks like uh, some cars may may have collided there, but it doesn't look like anything serious, except of course for, for the plane here in the middle of. Uh, King Drive. King Drive. Let's see if, yes. you know, I don't know, I hate to tell the cameraman what to do when he's out there, but is there, are there any ambulances on the scene? I know we saw a fire truck there. I'm just, yeah, there's a couple of ambulances there. We don't see a lot of frenzied activity around the plane, so um, there are injuries. Maybe the injured parties have been taken to the ambulance already. Uh, we are, are just getting me? word that this is being uh, shot for, as part of a TV show. So are you, you kidding? Are. They might want to tell the news folks when they're doing this and shutting down King Drive. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? 29th and King Drive, it's okay. It's all for a TV show. Flight costs go up too, so we could see fewer people driving. Spun out right behind you. Did you see that, Adrian? I know uh, I didn't, but now I did. So we're gonna wow. Go okay. On it. Yeah, it looks like Maybe. we have gotten in an accident out here. I'm probably shocked by the um, gas prices. Trying to beat the world record for fist pumping. Oh. So this is their live streaming. Oh. You know. Okay. Yeah, we didn't need to see that. Thanks, Ray. And of course, people are outside here on vacation, on boats, etc. This is a dangerous. Could see a little bit of rain today, which is great. Um, 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 okay, we have a problem with that camera there. 88 degrees. We go down to 76 for Friday. Come on, you remember that sh TV show? I love the 70s. And that's going to allow, oh, son of a bitch. Why is this happening? By and large, though, it is simply a lovely winter's day. Tomorrow, bucket loads of, of, uh, of sunshine across central and eastern areas. 42 to 31. And have 14 second chance points. Yeah, that's really big for Washington off those 11 offensive <laughs> rebounds. Good hustle. Dallas Mavericks Championship trophy was also on display this morning for fans to get an up close look at the, just the trophy, of course. Still Please fun to watch. just stopped because of your reporting. Thank you so much for ruining the fun. Total, complete killjoy. All Something right, that's well. gone on for a decade and you've ruined okay, it. Okay, okay. Wow, 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 wow. We were sent out here to do a story. To do a story about what? 
Uh, as you can see, there's construction underway here. Uh, they've dug out a little bit. There's water has accumulated. Traffic's backed up. In a city the size of Houston, there's always traffic. So what's the big fucking deal? What the fuck are we doing out here? I asked you, what in the fuck are we doing here? Hell, I don't know. Well, Jenny Kristen, with triple digits expected tomorrow, we may scenes we may see scenes even more like this. People trying to beat the heat and trying to stay cool. And uh, to, or tomorrow, and people. David, welcome news indeed. You know, a lot of these commuters having to deal with losing their Hi, home Jay or their Jay car. He was and that, for the excuse subway. us for a second. I'm We're Jay having some interference. Said. Chuck, LAPD Commander Andy Smith tells me tonight that these are cases back from the height of the Manson family crime spree four decades ago. Michael, some of these businesses here along Ocean Boulevard, which you can see behind me, tell me they are some of the hardest hit spots. I'm the n Now, if you can only imagine, this interruption happened at the peak of the evening commute. So commuters who thought they were on their way home found themselves going nowhere at all.